The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Many of the disciples of Jesus were listening and said, This saying is hard. Who can accept it? Since Jesus knew that his disciples were murmuring about this, he said to them, Does this shock you? What if you were to see the Son of Man ascending to where he was before? It is the Spirit that gives life, while the flesh is of no avail. The words I have spoken to you are spirit and life. But there are some of you who do not believe. Jesus knew from the beginning of the ones who would not believe and the ones who would betray him. And he said, For this reason I have told you that no one can come to me unless it is granted him by my Father. As a result of this, many of his disciples returned to their former way of life and no longer walked with him. Jesus said to the twelve, Do you also want to leave? Simon Peter answered him, Master, to whom shall we go? You have the words of eternal life. We have come to believe and are convinced that you are the Holy One of God. The Gospel of the Lord. We now come to the end of the Gospel of John, chapter 6. We've had this reading for the past few days now. And it ends in this dramatic, this dramatic betrayal. By this point in our Lord's ministry, we can suppose that hundreds, if not thousands of people were hanging on every word of Jesus, following him faithfully. Until this breaking point. And of course, it was just as it is today, the breaking point is the teaching of the Holy Eucharist, the real presence of Jesus. This is when the vast majority of his disciples leave our Lord. They cannot accept that the Eucharist is truly the body, blood, soul, and divinity of Jesus Christ. It is too radical, it is too much, it is too audacious, it is too scandalous. This piece of bread is Jesus. I see nothing. I feel nothing. The bread is just a piece of bread. We can buy more tastier bread at the market. But what's even more beautiful about this passage here is what it takes to be a disciple of Jesus Christ. All of us in here are striving to be followers of Jesus. Well, what does that entail? It entails embracing Jesus Christ, following him faithfully in everything. Again, I hark, I've, been, I've been harping on this for the past few weeks now. Fidelity to Jesus Christ is 100% following him in all of his teachings. Why? Because we know our Lord says hard things. But if we want to be his followers, if you want to be faithful to him, even though we may not completely agree with him at first, and we may not even understand, but Peter speaks up for us who are striving to be disciples, true disciples, humble disciples. Now Jesus turns to Peter in the 12. Do you also want to leave me for one of my teachings? And Peter simply says, Master, where am I going to go? And this is the beauty of, of why getting older, by the way, is a gift. I know we get wrinkly and we lose our hair and our bodies hurt. But there's a beauty in getting older. Because as we get older, we've tried everything else in life to try to find happiness. We've tried all the answers of the world. And still, it's left us wanting That's why Peter beautifully says, you have the words of eternal life, Jesus. And I am convinced you are the Holy One of God. And if you are indeed God, I will follow you, whatever that means.